Hello everyone and uh, welcome back if you have seen some of my films before and welcome for the first time if it's the first time. Uh, today I thought that I would uh, experiment a little bit. I'm gonna tie quite a long tube and I'm gonna use the, the similar way uh, that the Scottish people tie their uh, flamethrower but it's gonna be on a tube and it's gonna be with softer materials uh, so it's gonna look a little bit about like this but I will try to make it a little bigger this time because I'm gonna use it in a few weeks when there's cold, it's cold in the water but I want uh, it to be vibrating in the water so I'm gonna tie it in a little bit of willy gunny colors so yellow orange and black and as a little tag I will use hot magma yellow and uh, I know that uh, on the original flamethrowers they use uh, I think uh, it's only braid but uh, after the first hackle I will use uh, Alta Gold uh, dubbing on mine so this is just uh, uh, like an experiment but I have gotten some uh, new materials from from Ferdin Flies here uh, Solar Natural series with uh, rump feathers and uh, uh, Nutria hair so uh, as the stiff butt I will use the new Nutria hair from Redeem Flies which I really like and I'm gonna use it on my small on a few small summer flies as well so it's gonna be interesting to fish with uh, so let's just start tying. As you can see I have a rather long tube here, it's uh, 4 centimeters. So it's a lot longer than I usually tie on. Here I just cut a little angle as always and we tie the two dimensions together with hard wraps. Wraps, wraps. And I'm not sure how this will go, but let's just tie it and see how it goes along the way. So first thing I'm going to do is tie a little tag with uh, some hot magma yellow regular SSS dubbing. Just to get a little bit of color and some fluorescence in the fly. So I'll just tie a little lump in the back here. It was a little thick. And just put it on top. And then the hard turn down into the dubbing with the tying thread. And I hold it back. And just the thread in front. And then I'm going to brush it just a little bit to get a few strands out. Like this. So... And uh, now uh, we will use um, Sea Life Silver SSS braid for ribbing. And I will use uh, SSS braid Alta Gold for the back part of the body. So we tie this in. Make sure to cover up the black tying thread and just wind your way forward with tight turns. 
and I'm gonna stop it a little bit shorter than half in the middle of the fly. And then I fold it back and just do a couple of turns like that. And then we go after with ribbing which uh, the seal is silver, I just spin down to the size I want it and I want it rather thin, so I spin it quite much and then I use three turns here <laughs> like this and then I spin it back a little bit and fold this one too. And now it's time for the first hackle, which is going to be a yellow ring neck pheasant. The new Solar Natural Series pheasant. So this is going to be a lot softer than, than the flamethrowers that they tie on, on their hooks. So this is just a... I just got the idea of tying the fly like this from the flamethrower. So it's very far from an original flamethrower. And then I take my little hackle plier. And we wind a few turns here. And as I'm going to use this fly for to hunt the uh, sea trout, spring sea trout, hopefully the chromed ones, I will tie on quite a bit of materials on this fly. I want it to be a bit bulky like that and then we just lock this in with a few tight turns like this and then I pull a little bit in it to get it even tighter and then I use my little comb as always when I've tied on a hackle to see that the spread is even and that the hackle is spread symmetrically around the fly. And I think that looks quite good. And now uh, I have found out that uh, I come to the hard, hard part which is to tie in the little stiffer materials. Here I have a little bunch of yellow and black Nutria which is gonna be the first one straight down in the middle here and this is a little bit trickier but I tie it on top and that is sh that's the shortest bunch I don't need to use so many turns because I will tie on the rest of the Nutria on top here. So, And then I just spread it a little bit. So now I have the first little wing of stiffer materials here, Nutria. You, all of you that know how a flamethrower looks know that they usually use, I think, a bucktail here. But I will use the Nutria. And uh, here I have an orange, yellow, orange and black, which are the colors of the Willy Gun. And this is going to be a little bit longer than the yellow. And this is naturally tapered, so... It looks quite nice as it is. And tie this in on top. And on top of the yellow Nutria we tied in, a few turns and uh, I looked so it, yeah it looks good and last Nutria bunch it's even longer and then this is the black one 
and I want this one to be a little bit longer than the orange one. So now we have the three colors of a wheelie gun or the and a little bit of gold and everything that we and I just put this so it looks good and sits on top of each other that looks good I pull it up on my side a little bit because I want it to be almost uh, all on top and this I just cut off a little bit because on top of this we're gonna have uh, the dubbing so I, I save this so now to get this uh, Nutria to stay in place I will use some glue so I take some glue on the thread and then I just wind it here and then I go a little bit forward with the glue so I know that it's it will sit properly properly secured there we go and now I will use uh, the uh, alt, uh, not Alta Gold but uh, Sealy Silver Braid for ribbing in the front part And then we just tie the Nutria leftovers down. Now we'll go pretty far up here because uh, the, all we're gonna have in in the front here is uh, one uh, uh, yellow ring neck pheasant, one orange ring neck pheasant, and end it with a black ring neck pheasant. So. We're gonna get a lot of vibration in this fly from all the strands. And now I will use the Alta Gold regular dubbing in front. I think this fly will work, but I'm I don't know I'm not sure, but I think it will vibrate and fish really good in the slower parts of the river where the sea trout likes to hang out when it's a little bit colder in the water. And here I make sure so I don't go so far back so that I press that press in the ring neck pheasant yellow one while I tied in here because I want the strands to be standing out so the stream can get them to vibrate so I just make sure that I cover up the thread here which I didn't exactly manage like that now I have uh, covered it up so now I just work my way forward I'm not I'm not building uh, building up as I usually do on my tube flies now I just cover this part with uh, with the dubbing I'm not building uh, building it up to grow to make a good drop form this is like a like a big spay fly because it's only Nutria and, and the hackle fibers, the rump feathers that will, will vibrate. And uh, I just remembered now that I forgot to tie in the uh, crinkled uh, copper flash. 
I was supposed to use a few of these ones uh, on top of the Nutria here, but I forgot, so. Sorry, this one will be without. I haven't turned off the sound on my phone. Very professional, as always. And now I just spin the ribbing down to the size I want it to be. And then I rib my way forward. By using ribbing here over the dubbing, it makes the fly very much more durable than if I wouldn't have used any ribbing, if I just had used the dubbing. Like that. And it looks kind of crazy now, but when I put on the hackles here in front and I'm going to also use a turbo cone head on this one because I wanted to the water to be pressed out. So now we're just going to brush it and not like I usually do. I won't brush out as much, but I want it to be nice and glittery in the middle part of the fly here. So something like that. And I don't see on this side how it looks, but I think it looks good. And now we will start with a yellow ring neck pheasant. If I can make a little tip like that, cut that off, tie this in on my side. that and the hackle plier and now I am not uh, shy with the turns I just because I want I'm gonna fish this in really cold water I just make it as thick and fat as I want so I use as much of this feather as I can. So we will get almost three turns. And I lock that in over the stem and then I go back because we're going to pull away the stem afterwards and cut it off a little over on your side like this. And then I just pull it like this and then it ended up underneath. It's not the ideal way of doing it, but as uh, I'm a very, I'm a, my flies aren't perfect, but I'm a perfectionist. So, but this looks like uh, the, f the strands are pretty equal, even though I finished it not on my side and now I will take an orange one in front of the yellow one so the willy gun colors and the willy gun is usually working very well in the river I'm I'm gonna use this fly in in a few weeks so they're the right color for the I'm not, I'm not sure humus uh, tinted what whiskey colored water and I hold back the strands I have the thread on the wrong side there like that and the first turn is close to the yellow as possible and then we go a little 
move it forward. This one. I'm going to do the same with this one. Because I want three turns, but I only get two and a half. But I think it's going to look quite good anyways. And now I tie it in where the fibers stopped behind the stem here. And then I do it like I did it on the yellow one. But the black one is a little bit longer and I really hope that I get three turns out of the black one. And as always, a little comb. And I think it looks quite good. It's on top here that it lacks a few yellow ones and a few orange ones, but that doesn't matter to me then because uh, the rest of the fly is pretty symmetrical and here there are little too few but that doesn't matter and now I will take the black one and I hope to get three turns out of this one this Cut off, tie it in on my side. And the hackle plier again. Pull back the strands, so we'll get them on one side of the stem. And then we work our way forward. I will get three turns. Oh no! Dun, 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 dun. I am the master of breaking hackles. Now I'm always almost down on the extra small tubing, so this last turn I will do on the extra small tubing. Like this. Oh, it broke again. But I think I will succeed if I just can lock it in with a tying thread. Yes, thank you very much. Two, three four five six and then I pull the stem a little bit and then I see that the uh, fibers are coming a little bit my way then I know that it's nice and tight so I usually say the tighter you tie the fly the more durable it gets so now I will comb through this and I think it looks Pretty good. I will. It's gonna be exciting to to fish this fly. I'm I'm longing to fish this fish this fly. Uh, maybe even on a single hander with a sinking line and do overhand casting and then hold the rod up and let it swim slowly amongst the. I ha got an idea. I will take two of these. Uh, crinkled flash and put them on top here so they will be in the wrong place but if the sun shines or anything they will uh, it will do its job so I will just take two put them on top here lose turn pull down and see that they landed in the middle yes and I will just take them apart a little bit and I will let these be a little bit longer than the 
hackles from the the front hackles and I don't want them to be exactly on each other so I put them like this and then we just cut this little excess off and now we will take two jungle cocks and I thought that the uh, the orange ones is a really good match to this fly so here I already ready prepared them so I will put one on my side and tie it in and try not to go forward or to the back with the tying thread a little bit up like that looks good and now we try to tie in the second one just like we tied in the first one so in the same spot on the opposite side and the same length like that and try to tie the thread on top of each other not go forward or in the other way and that looks pretty good and now I will cut off the stems the jungle cock carefully and then I will use uh, uh, turbo cone head professional very much so I would like a gold one on this fly so here I have a, a gold one in extra small will which will help this fly from collapsing in the little bit stronger currents because of the way it's made as you can see it's got an angle like this and which means when the water hits this the water will be pushed out so it will help the fibers not to slim down alongside the body it will help them to be a little bit apart so that the fly vibrates nicely in the water so now there's only some glue here to uh, secure the jungle cocks and make a little thread head which I hope that I can cover with a turbo cone head so now as always Niklas Bauer's pike tubes and press it down and I push against here because otherwise I will never get this fly out of the vise like this and I think it looks good and look underneath I am very satisfied with uh, this one just touching the the hackles I don't want it to bend the hackles down this looks really bushy and uh, <sighs> and messy but it turned out the way I wanted it to and now we will cut off the fifth tubing extra small in the tip here and leave about two and a half millimeters Me melt that down until the 
fits tubing, presses up against the cone head, the turbo cone, like that. And we got a good hole. So, but I usually put it on backwards just to be sure that the hole is as good as I want it. And now we'll put it back and comb it a little bit to see how it looks. <laughs> It's like a big fluffy spay fly of some kind, but it's tied with a flamethrower in mind. But it's far from a, it doesn't no one would call this a flamethrower, but the idea comes from a flamethrower. And I want this to be a little bit down on the, this side. hard to just get that like that I think this will be nice so uh, will gunny colors will garnish and uh, orange jungle cocks and this is the result uh, tell me what you think in the comments if I'm crazy or if you think that this one could attract a fish to take a bite and one of the reasons that I made the body so long is that uh, sea trouts uh, like to sometimes just bite the tail of the fly so if you have the hook uh, further back uh, it's a big chance that you will be able to hook the fish when it takes so yeah this is what it looks like the nutria positioning is not perfect there's a few more orange strands seen on this side than on this side but uh, not so much so uh, we we'll fish this one and I will let you know how it goes so let me know what you think and if you want to follow my youtube channel just click on uh, the photo of me here and subscribe and if you want to see another film that i've made in, on another flight just click here thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye